Hello there. Welcome back everyone to the channel and to Geo Detective, not Geo Guesser. Geo Detective. Um, you know the drill by now. This is me trying to locate my fans using the limited information that is present on their cunningly carefully selected images. This was the first one I ever did, sent in by Abelwell Tipplewick. And it was a good one, wasn't it? I don't know why I'm particularly revisiting this. It was, it's just a good example of a good photo that got the brain working. And it was my first ever one. And 13 images later, we arrive at an image that I think will pose almost, or if not more, problems than Aaron Amberleaf did. The only one I've failed, although it pains me to say it because I think if I had more time, I could have got that. And it's Draco Dinkelberg. This is our newest photo. This is what I'm going to be looking at today. I don't think I'm going to have time for anything else. In fact, I don't think I'm going to have time for anything else this week because I think this might consume me. And we're off. So, beyond the, the feather duster-like locks of Draco and his Costa latte or whatever it was, um, where are we? Obviously, that's the question. But what have we got? What do I know we have here? How can I even pin this on a country? Well, my vibes said Germany. That's what I've had. That's what I had the first time I looked at it in my head. And that's what I'm getting now. But is that because of the architecture? Or is it because of Draco's blonde hair? Is that like a subliminal thing that, that altered my perception? This is obviously a very grand, you know, building, whether it be a university or a <coughs> one of those, um, or some sort of, you know, I mean, obviously there's a church there, but what's the rest of it? Was it an abbey, an old nunnery or a, you know, a mansion of some sort, Go old government buildings? I'm failing to think of some of the words that I that I really mean, but you know anything like that, basically, um, and that's what's going to be so hard about this because it could be a number of things. It could just be a museum today, or it could have been turned into apartments, or that bit could be a school. That that bit could be offices. You know, it's historic, but what is ex is its function now? And what was it then? And how easily will we find it based on all of those possible options? How do we Google it? So that's that. those are my questions. Uh, let's see if I can answer them. Let's zoom in first on these, on this thing. The roof, are those gold? No, that, that's just like a, just a yellow sign or something. Not sure what that is. That could be a bucket, so no gold roof. Um, these are interesting. These sort of, what are they called? I really am bad at terminology, aren't I? The design of this building architecturally, particularly this bit in the middle, the church, the abbey or whatever it is, will be useful. Well, I'm not sure it will be, but it can be useful. I think that's one of the main things I've, I've got to rest my hopes on. Um, it's just about my Googling skills, really, and they ain't great, as a lot of you know. Uh, by the way, on that note, I'm not using that Google reverse image. I, don't, I haven't tried to do it yet. I don't know how to do it. I'm sure it's very simple. You don't need to tell me how to do it. But it seems like from your comments that it's very easy to find out where, like, I could find this if I did that. So I'm not going to do that because that would just leave us with a very, very small amount of images that I have that would be a challenge. Um, so that's cheating, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Now, there's a Costa nearby. That's something, that might be something. Oh, wait a minute, there's a Costa. Isn't Costa just British? How have I just realized that? 
Okay, first thing I'm going to Google then, madly, is Costa Coffee. I think it might have expanded into Europe. Um, worldwide locations. So this is the first thing I'm going to do, because he sure as hell ain't walking around with a Costa in France or Germany if there ain't any Costa. I'd be very surprised if he brought it on the plane. Another thing I was going to mention about Draco, he looks potentially like a student, so this could be a university. So if this is Britain, which it could be, I didn't rule it out, I just thought that these windows and whatnot might be, I thought they looked more European, but I might be wrong, I hope I'm wrong, because it's going to be easier if it's in the UK. So, back to Costa, store locator. Um, let's go to Paris. I'm sure there's better ways of doing this. Right, there are no stores here. What about, I don't know, Amsterdam? I think Costa Coffee is British. I do. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. Wrong, but there ain't many in Europe. So... 2,422 in the UK, quite a few in China, crazily enough. UAE, then they're sort of really hitting it off in Poland for some reason. Ireland, of course. But moving down from that, my bets are going on Britain or Ireland now. So... How do I, it's, let's, let's presume this is in Britain, which I'm starting, the more, the more I look at it, I'm starting to think that it, that it might be. Very easily might be. Can't, can't read that there. Um, lots of ivy on the walls. Yeah, the more I look at it, I can believe that this is Britain. So, I started to Google, future Tom here by the way, I started to Google historic British universities. So I'm looking at old historic universities as my first sort of punt, and it is a punt. And just, just in case something pops up that's similar. The only thing that came up that was remotely similar was this one. And that's Aberdeen. So I'm going to get the University of Aberdeen up. Look at some images. I wonder if there's a chapel. Hmm. No, th this is even older, this building. Let's take away the chapel because that's obviously that building. Yeah, no, I don't think this is it. Okay, and that's the end of that idea. So, so the Googling took a somewhat premature change in direction, and after having only viewed a select few of Britain's most historic universities, the urge was now to see if I could summon this scene using a mixture of keywords such as courtyard, ivy, chapel, university, historic, costa, and so on. And when that got me nowhere, I figured that my best bet was to focus on the most distinctive piece of this image, the church. Okay, what is that style of church? Style of church architecture UK. We just need to gain anything we can, any bit of information. That's how detectives work, isn't it? Perpendicular, yeah, it's not one of them. Norman, right, Saxon. Early English, yep. Yeah. Why does it stop at that? Why does it stop there? Okay, what about a Gothic church then? Because I, th I think it looks Gothic, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Gothic church, England. So a Gothic church we want, not necessarily a cathedral. Is it Gothic? I do hope we're in Britain. Because this could be an absolute wild goose chase. Well, there are lots of types of churches here, but just it's not specific enough. It's too worldwide. I need the various niche types of 
architecture because this is very distinctive it's very triangular sleek modern looking uh, the spire in particular so if I can just find I, I don't think this is very old I think that's probably in fact there's a church I know where some of my ancestors are buried that doesn't look too dissimilar so there you go it's you know it's not too dissimilar the steeple looks fairly similar uh, it, you know it's not a million miles off is it so when was that built yeah Victorian Gothic okay I'm getting slowly closer that sort of thing yeah yeah there's a weathercock Victorian Gothic Church Courtyard With my newfound keywords now refining my Google search the results began to look a bit better See some of these images are not a million miles off like I, I would I wouldn't be surprised I mean I would but I wouldn't be totally surprised it wouldn't be out of place here The googling continued with optimism in fact, I really thought that this Victorian Gothic Church University Google search could potentially lead me to victory. So much so that when our church didn't show up, I started to question whether we were in a university. Maybe it was just a touristy, historic cluster of buildings or a castle in a British or Irish city. So for the next hour or so, I scoured the skylines of Britain and Ireland's most historic cities on Google Earth using the 3D building feature, checking every steeple in cities like Oxford, Edinburgh, Winchester, Chichester, Bath, St Albans, Durham, Dublin, Cork, York, Warwick, Cardiff, Belfast and anywhere else that could conceivably be home to such a place. Of course, bearing in mind that most places had completely the wrong brick colour to do so. By the time I reached Dundee, I started to question reality a bit. So I decided to give my brain a rest and revert to another technique. As it happened, whilst Googling a Scottish castle somewhere, I discovered a website on which you can search for any grade one or two listed building in Britain. A very old system that protects historic and important buildings, which this one undoubtedly was. The search function on the site was actually really good. You could select the time frame in which the building was built, whether it was grade one or two listed, but most importantly, you could add keywords that linked not only to the building's name, but to its entire description, which in some cases was very detailed indeed. At first, I booted up a search for any building between the years of 1500 and 1900, which turned up a thousand results, or at least that's what I thought it had done. In actual fact, it was only showing me a thousand out of 354,289 results. But that didn't stop me pointlessly searching the first four pages. It was only when I tried the same search with only grade one listed buildings, which returned a thousand out of 8,052, that I realized what had happened. I knew what I had to do now narrow down the parameters as much as possible, particularly the date and the keywords, to the point where there was a small enough number of search results for me to sift through and find this church. A date range of 1750 to 1875 with the keyword church produced 586 results, which I painstakingly sifted through, only clicking on ones that were in towns and cities and not little parish villages to speed things up. But after about halfway through the list and after hours of searching, I started to go a bit mad and drew a line under it for the day. Okay, new day, new perspective, new clothes. And before I jump back into that National Trust or whatever it was website where I scour all the grade one listed buildings from a certain time period, even though it might be outside the time period or it might even be in a different country, I'm just going to do a bit more digging and a bit more Googling. And I found a website here which tells me Gothic Revival draws features from the original Gothic style, including decorative patterns, finials, lancet windows, hood moulds. I don't know what any of those are. So 
What's a Lancet window? So it's these. Okay, yeah. Lancet windows with, let's see if I could get that on the top. Okay, triple Lancet windows then, that's something. And a hood mold. A hood mold, okay. Yeah, we have a hood mold of sorts. I'm going to do a bit more Googling. I'm going to throw in lots of different types of combinations of you know words. We've got the striped roof. We've got the ornate finials, things like that. So I'm just going to Google for a bit longer here. I'll speed it up. So I got to work Googling once again, this time using all the neo-Gothic terminology that I now knew the church featured, combined with various other words to see if our church came up. After another good search, Google still hadn't come up with the goods. But then I thought back to the Historic Buildings website. Okay, let's really date this church. Let's date it. I mean, can we? You know when you watch antique programs and they're like, I would date this to around the 1820s, possibly 1830s, and it's just a little vase or something and you're like how have you done that mate how do you know it's from that particular decade i think we can do that for this church because i think it's quite unique i at least think we can get that time frame down to about 40 years and then we can go back on that list and really scour it yeah let's do that the dating process didn't quite go as well as i'd hoped but I did conclude that the church was definitely from between 1800 and 1910. So, with some keywords such as chapel, gothic, neo-gothic, university, slate roof and striped roof, I got to work scouring the lists which were now much shorter. A hundred, sixty or even twenty depending on the keywords. But frustratingly, I found nothing. A big part of me was actually surprised and a bit gutted that I hadn't found it yet, but I soldiered on. My next thought was to pursue the avenue of the very distinctive striped roof. Surely there was a better term for that pattern, and my next step was to find it. That's the first time I've seen something that is that jumped out at me. Look at those. Those, the, the roof and the finials, as I've learnt they are called, combined there is the closest thing we've seen yet. What the hell is this? Is this a particular architect? Well, one thing we're getting is all of these are in Wales. So if these dudes who designed these places were from and operated in Wales, and therefore these are a Welsh design, which I can believe I've typed in Wales a fair amount, then we might be getting somewhere. But surely if they designed our church in question, it would appear now because it's got to be one of their finest pieces of work. But look at the roof. It's just so similar. And the slate ties in, Welsh slate. But where is that? Where is that? You know, that particular photo. I don't think it's the same roof, but I'd like to know where that one is. So I'm using Google Lens. Is that the thing I said I wouldn't use? Um, but I'm not using it for our photo. I'm using it for this, which I think is perfectly fine. Poundley and Walker. They've done a lot in Wales. That is not one of their pieces because it would come up. If that isn't coming up with our church, then there must not be very many photos of it. Banding to the slate roof. Okay. Banded slate roof roof tiles so it's not striped okay so let's just 
go back on here. Armed with the keywords banded and slate, I took my newfound knowledge back to the historical building site to crack it once and for all. Come on. Okay. Okay. 40 results found here. We've got a chance. Banded slate. However, despite producing a fair few similar looking church roofs, our church was not among the 40 results. And after another hour of frustrated, frantic Googling, a final baseless and desperate push which soaked up every idea and combination of idea left lurking in the far corners of my tired brain. I'm going to have to leave this again for now. I am determined to get this one. Um, but for now, I've got to just do other things. I've just got to cut this off. I don't know where I'll go next or what I'll do next in my bid to find Draco. Uh, but I think with a clear head, I'll come back to this and maybe I'll crack it. I think I can. And I'm gonna. Okay, I've had a few days off Draco. Um, I wanted to get away from it a bit, do a couple of other things. I made the other Geo Detective video and a few more Geo Guesser videos. Uh, and I just thought, I'll come back to this with a fresh head. Um, so let's get the picture up and see where my mind takes me to. See if I've been going down the wrong avenues and see which avenues I feel like going down in a bid to try and find Draco. So what's my first thought here? I just think it's, right now, I just think it's a Welsh university. That is all I can think. With a Costa coffee nearby. I think this is a university. I think that's the university chapel. Maybe I didn't search for enough universities. I searched for all the historic ones. Well, I searched for, I went through a list of historic ones, but I imagine a, a good amount of British universities are historic in, you know, in, in terms of the buildings are over a hundred years old. Um, so maybe I missed a few. So, okay, let me think of all the Welsh universities I can. So what about Bangor? I don't think it's that one. I think we would have seen that building at least once. Okay, I'm going to get a list of Welsh universities up because the buildings feel Welsh, especially this one. And we've seen similar architecture on this church, but I'm going to just start in Wales and then I can rule out Wales then for universities. So I searched each of the dozen or so Welsh universities and got nothing. Then I went through the Scottish universities using another official list, which also returned nothing. Then Northern Ireland and then England, starting right up with your Cambridges and your Durhams, right down to the collection of grey buildings on the Wolverhampton Ring Road University. Still nothing. My university theory, which my fresh head had told me had real substance to it, was quickly running out of steam. The only place left to search was Ireland. That doesn't look bad. I'm not going to say anything else right now because I don't want to just work myself up. But Maynooth University, the windows and the brickwork looked pretty good. Please, 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 please. And we've got 3D buildings. It's not going to be it, is it? It's been one... <laughs> It's been one let down after the other, but oh my god, I think I've got it. I think I've got it, guys. That's got to be it. Look at it. It's got to be it. I've got it. University Chapel. All the searches that I did along the lines of University Chapel... Uh, well, you saw all the combinations I did. Bloody 
banded slate roof chapel university historical gothic neo-gothic gothic revival chapel uh, ornate finials you saw it all nothing came up but lucky here we've got it i thought it looked either welsh irish or scotland get in get in oh my god i'm so relieved i found that so relieved so where is it it's not far from dublin judging by where we just were i know very little there's dublin i know very little about irish universities probably embarrassingly little and judging by this list it's you know one of the best universities in ireland um yeah i just when i came back today i just thought this has got to be a university just draco is such a student he's got his bag with all his books in he's got his coffee it was just a natural snap that was taken and just just the buildings like it, where else would you get a chapel attached to other buildings i always thought throughout this that that was attached to this building but it's not it's actually you can walk between them oh my god i don't quite know what to do with myself now uh, other than put the marker down let's put the marker down and then we can maybe reflect a little bit more but we can see the shapes of the paths there what a wonderful moment uh it's clear to me that the photo was taken about there uh, yeah, a little bit further back from that, from that path. So about there, right? Yeah, we got the shadow of this big tree. Then we got a little tree. Then we got another big tree. We're obviously further back than this, the middle of that building. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I know it took probably longer than it should have done. I was probably searching for about five or six hours in total. So yeah, embarrassing really. But I learnt a lot about churches, finials and triple thingied windows and banded slate roofs. I've learnt a lot. And I think most importantly, I've gained experience of searching. I've got better at the decision making of searching, uh, Googling. Uh, it's just all experience. And uh, I feel like with every photo, I'm getting better. And that was... That was a big learning curve. Ah, oh, let's get Google Docs up. I can proudly enter Draco Dinkelsberg. Um, if I am 100% sure that I'm correct uh, at the moment, uh, within 25 yards, I'm just going to fill them in green. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Th thin flissel, definitely. Ginger passion. I'll wait for him to get back to me just for confirmation that he was on that rock. Harry Bogswirler has always uh, already emailed me. He hasn't always e emailed me. That would be weird. Um, but this is going very well. I can't wait to move on to the next photo. Let's have a little fleeting glimpse. Can't wait to try and tackle that. I'm loving this series. Uh, ever since Aaron Amberleaf, it's been... A roaring success and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks so much for watching.